Hey you guys, so I'm back with another message from the Lord. Um, this particular message is based upon a dream that I had. And this involves three roommates. Um, God want me to share it. Um, the, three, the three roommates is... Um, it's two females and one male. Y'all living in like a three bedroom apartment. I didn't know that everybody has their own room. But this particular message um, is for... A female, you recently gave your life to Christ or rededicated your life back to Christ. So you're trying to live a holy life. You're not trying to dip and dab into the things that you used to do. Um, and your roommates, they're still of the world. They're still in the world. Um, but you, like I said, I don't know whether that was your New Year's re resolution or what that you decided that just you was going to rededicate your life back to Christ. And you're taking this walk with God very, very seriously. Um, your roommates, two of your roommates, the male and the female, they are plotting to try to make you look like you are not who you say you're trying to be as far as you are, you are not a child of God like you say you're trying to be. And how they're trying to do it is they're trying to do something to where they'll set up like a, they, the guy is saying that he wants to set up a YouTube channel to where y'all have like your own show but him and the other girl are going they're basically plotting to try to make it seem like that y'all are all in like a poly relationship okay and poly basically is when a man lives and have more than one woman and all this other stuff which is not of god um and if they're trying to use it to make it seem like you're not as christian as um you claim you want to be or that you claim you are it's a setup and they're talking about or they're planning on setting up cameras and stuff in the house because they're trying to do it like a reality tv show so they can put it on youtube and make money and all this other stuff but it's also a plot against you to make you to try to um mess up your character pretty much defamation okay if this word is for you woman of god this is your season to be separated. You're going to have to move out and get your own place. Um, pray. Ask God for a strategy on where to go, where to move. But you're going to have to be separated. And the reason why I'm saying this is a lot of people, they hate Christians. A lot of people hate when Christians rededicate their life back to Christ. They hate Christians. So they will do any and anything to ruin their character, ruin their reputation because they hate Christians. And your your two roommates, they, they they feel that way. They they hate they they hate that you um, are a believer of God. They hate that you are a believer of Christ. They hate that about you. Um, they're smiling in your face, and they're plotting behind your back to set you up or whatever. So God is going to allow you to get your own place by yourself. And like I said, people they hate Christians. And I'm speaking from this from my own personal experience. Uh, whenever I went out to California. And one of my friends was bragging and boasting about um, my walk with God and my walk with Christ. One girl got jealous and she tried to do stuff to my food. Um, and she was just being, she was being um, nice, um, nice, nasty, as they call it. All right. But she really had a problem against me because I'm a Christian and I don't dip and dab and stuff like that. And my beliefs how i believe how i go by the word i i'm I, i'm I, i'm not just a hero of a word i'm the doer of a word and that's how you are and like i said when i whenever i went there like um she tried to do stuff to my food um she had like this nice nasty attitude um and then they try to put me in uncomfortable situations where you know that um I'm a woman of God. I don't go out. I don't party. I don't club. Like, I don't do those type of things. So why would y'all try to put me in that type of an environment? And that's not the reason why I came out here for. I came out here for business. So people will do that because they hate Christians to try to get you caught up. But God is saying that he is going to allow you to get your own place. And you're going to have to be separated. And you're going to have to cut ties with these roommates. Because when people really truly love you. And they really truly are for you. Whether you are a child of God or not. They will respect that about you. They will try not to make you feel uncomfortable. 
They were trying not to put you in bad situations that cause you to fall. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to put you in a bad situation to cause you to fall, to cause you to go back into a life or a world of sin because they want to be out there. And I had to cut ties with a person because they were trying to do that to me. And they were allowing their other friends to try to do that to me too as well. But you know my walk. You know my call with God. You know I don't indulge in these things. Like why would you try to put me in an uncomfortable situation to try to get me to compromise my faith? So people will do that. Um, but when people just show you who you are, believe them, and you separate yourself from them. And I promise you, God will vindicate you. God will deal with them. We are in a season of judgment. And when God starts exposing people to you, that means judgment is going to come soon thereafter. So, woman of God, you're going to have to go ahead and you're going to have to move and get out of these people's way and separate yourself. Because when God starts dealing with them, it's going to hit them hard. And you don't want to feel the... Um, you don't want to feel the backlash of the wrath that they're about to experience. Because, like I said, there are people out here that really truly hate Christians. They despise Christians. They try to do anything to make a Christian look like they're not Christian because of their hate, hatred for Christians. And God deals with people like that. Okay? God blesses his children when people make a mockery out of them. He rewards his children when people try to make a mockery out of them and come against them. So, like I said, vengeance belongs to God. Vengeance, um, vengeance belongs to God. He's really going to um, vindicate you and recompense you in this hour. But you're going to have to be ye separated. All right? Be ye separated. I'm saying that again. Be ye separated. Because if you don't, they're going to try to get you to go back to the world. And God really wants you to be in his presence during this time. He really wants you to be at his feet during this time. Because a lot of stuff is about to hit the land. All right? Don't look backwards. Move forward. All right? So I just want to come and share this message. Again, the roommates are plotting against you. You need to get away. Pray. See God for strategy on where you need to move to. But God is going to set you up and bless you to be in your own place by yourself. Okay, because darkness and light can't mix. You can't live with people that still want to be in the world. And you're trying to live for God. And then, they, and then they're not respecting the call and your values and your beliefs. Okay, so I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for your strength. But again, you guys, I love you all. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will chat with you all later.